importance of information communications technology to rural areas was the focus of an ENRD seminar held in Brussels on the 10th of February 2011. Attended by some 140 people, the event examined the role of rural development policy as regards broadband and the wider ICT needs of rural Europe. If I didn't have internet connectivity, it's, it's unthinkable. It would be totally unfair. It would be totally unfair. I couldn't book a flight to come to Brussels. The very particular challenges faced by rural areas as regards ICT was a key topic. In rural areas, both here and in, in the United States, we see aging populations, lower income, less uh, digital literacy. So there are challenges to overcome, even if all other factors were equal in terms of the availability of broadband. However, the potential of ICT to improve quality of life was also highlighted. ICT is um, the possibility to connect rural areas with, let's say, the rest of the world. Being connected with the information and communication network is uh, a very much prime, primary important factor for them. It's very important to connect rural, uh, rural communities. Mobile broadband offers, I think, huge potential. And uh, yeah, like, like the, currently the, the Common Agricultural Policy places an awful a big emphasis on public value. At European policy level, the Digital Agenda for Europe is a strategy which aims to create a flourishing digital economy in all parts of Europe, urban and rural, by 2020. The ambitious plan aims to ensure that no matter where you live in the EU, you will be connected, thereby bridging that so-called digital divide. One of the, 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 the byline of Europe, the Digital Agenda for Europe is every European digital. And this means two things. So it means every European who's interested should be able to have an internet connection, 100% coverage. And uh, by 2020, we're hoping that that coverage should reach 30 megabits per second. Of course, this, this, uh, the objectives are ambitious, but I think we have to set something ambitious because if we stay at what we have now, I think we would not advance very much. And I think. A very important um, part of the, the exercise is that member states get aware of that they are running into a real risk if they do not catch up, if they do not get the train. The European Network for Rural Development provided examples of how effort funding is already being used to fund ICT rural development projects across the EU. That's extraordinary. I mean, even in the um, even in the framework of, of this very specific subject, um, information and communication technology (ICT), we've launched a database a very short time ago. We already have 33 projects. Those projects give us a window on this amazing diversity. There's a lot of focus on the issue, and a lot of people realize realizing how important this is for rural development as a whole. So, and there's an extraordinarily high demand for, for uh, different different types of investments. And uh, so I think when we have this, uh, this snowball is rolling, I think we need to take advantage of it. And you can log on to the ENRD website for further information on all of these projects.